Hey guys, welcome back to Wrench and Rip. Today, we are chopping up my brand new trailer. All right, so let me tell you guys a little story and I'll keep it short. Basically, I bought my new rancher. I went and bought this trailer to tow it with my car and the quad does not fit on the trailer. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop out this front bar here. We're gonna extend it seven inches so my quad will actually fit on it with the gate closed. It does fit on the deck, but the gate doesn't close. So we need to fix that. We can bump this puppy out. Uh, I have very little welding experience actually in the past video where we did the welding competition. That is all the welding experience I have. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but uh, I'm up for it and uh, I'm optimistic. It's not too difficult, so, well, I say that now, but <laughs> it shouldn't be too difficult. So, let's get started. First step is basically to chop this whole front part off the trailer. So, let's go with that. guys well that wasn't too bad really uh, it all cut off pretty smoothly I mean it's it's pretty straight and I've got to clean some of this stuff up take uh, take these little bits off and, and grind those down so I have a clean surface but overall not too bad I crept into that a little you know here's the uh, the front piece over here same deal. Uh, this is a piece that I'm going to be using again, so I wanted to make sure I didn't cut too deep into that. Um, and I didn't on either side. This, I have to uh, cut off. I'm not using that piece. Um, I'm going to have to cut some new ones. But uh, overall, not too bad. Uh, this is only my second time even using that angle grinder or any angle grinder at all in general. So. Um, Next step, I'm just going to clean these faces up, get them nice and square, uh, grind a little excess off of that, same one there, cut that little chunk off, and then we'll start, uh, we'll start cutting metal to replace this stuff, which is exciting. This might not go so bad after all. got her all ground up came out pretty nice I think hard to see there because of the light but got some kind of chamfer angles on there too all cleaned up there all cleaned up over here and all cleaned up on uh, on this one too so now it's time to cut some chunks of this angle iron that I bought uh, this, these parts here that we're going to extend out seven inches, those are two inch, and then the supports are going to be inch and a half, kind of like at an angle going in. Um, and I'm actually going to add extra support. Just had one in the center. I'm going to add ones on the ends too as well. So we'll do those once we get, you know, the front kind of rim all tacked up. So let's start chopping some of this up. Seven inches of uh, two inches. 2 inch angle iron for each side. Alright, got them all measured up with my power lock. 
and uh, I went one on each side because when I cut this with an angle grinder, it's not going to be totally straight. So by doing that, I'm giving myself perfectly straight side to butt up against this. Uh, that's probably not perfectly straight anyway, so I'm sure it really doesn't make a difference. But uh, it, give me, it gives me a little peace of mind. So I'm going to cut these two guys off, and then we'll actually get the welder out. Here we go. Each seven inches. Let's see how close I got. Hey, I mean, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> close enough for me. I just got back from a quick pizza break, so I'm refueled. Uh, I'm just going to sand some last things here, and then uh, we'll actually bust out the welder and uh, tack these on. Something like, something like that. Well, I guess the other way, technically. But something like that should be good. So let's get some sanding done, and then I'll catch up with you guys once we're at the welding stage. The big moment is here. We got the welding stuff out. I set this little guide up to help me uh, get this nice and flat when I put it up there. And uh, we're going to tack her on up and uh, hopefully get it straight. I'm just gonna tack it and then I'll uh, you know, adjust as I need. Um, then it'll be easy to cut off if I have to, so. Let's get to it. All right, I got this one tacked on. Man, it was all I could do to get that thing tacked on there straight. I would get it tacked on, and then uh, I would try and straighten it out, and it would just break right off. <laughs> so I'm going to do a few more tacks to make sure it doesn't shift, and I'll fully weld that up there. Actually, uh, maybe I should wait. I'll probably wait. Finally, have both of these little ends welded up nice and straight on both ends. Not too bad. And they're just tacked for now. I tacked them pretty good, so I'm I'm praying that they don't fall off. I swear if they fall off to me, <laughs> probably would probably cry. But uh looking pretty good now. Next thing to do is get this long front bar welded up. Ready. Alrighty, guys, check that out. Woo! Big fab guy. <laughs> you know, it's all impressively close to square. Everything's tacked up uh, pretty good. So I'm not too worried about anything going flying now. But what I'm gonna do is, before I add, I have to add some bracing in like from here to here. Before I do that, I'm gonna fully weld all this stuff so it stays rock solid while I'm doing the other part. This, in my eyes, was the most difficult part of the job, was getting that, that bump out. And it's all there, and it's looking good. So that is a huge relief. Um, I'm not too concerned about the, the welding itself. I'm no pro welder. I mean, not even close, but... Um, it was a lot harder for me to get everything straight 
that was really challenging. You know, I, that's something that someone with experience would have done super easily. But for me, man, it was tough. But we got it. So I'm going to go around and fully weld all this stuff. It'll probably take me forever. But uh, that'll get it really burned in. So I don't have to worry at all that it's going to move. And then we'll move on to the bracing. We are fully welded. Not very pretty, but it'll work. It'll work for me. That yeah, that that was the first one. <laughs> Look at how bad that looks. But uh, it's okay. It'll work. I'm gonna use the old grinder treatment and uh, you know clean it up. Comment uh, if there's anything you can do about the. Uh, I have so many little like little little droplets flying all over the place. You welders, uh, comment, comment how to fix that, or what, what can I, what can I adjust to make that, you know, do that less, but hopefully there's something. Well, it's done now. So next up is supports, three supports, and then paint. Pretty damn good. All right. Got these guys fabbed up, and they fit right in here, just like that. Uh, I'm trying to hold it and look at the camera at the same time. They fit real good right there, so I have one for this side. I just finished the one for the other side as well. Now I'll weld those in, or just tack them in for now. and. Uh, then I'll do the middle. That's the last uh, structural piece. All right, fast forward here a few hours. Uh, it's almost midnight now at this point. Um, I've got these braces fully welded in. They look pretty damn good. So those are finished up. I just finished the center brace and I have our surfaces all prepped. And that sits like so so that'll sit right in there that's the final brace so i'm gonna tack this and then fully weld it and i'll um i'm gonna call it a night after that i'll uh do the finishing and the painting tomorrow um which will probably be in the same video for you guys so uh i'll work to uh this being all welded and then will work to tomorrow when I'm, uh, you know, painting it up. Alright guys, third and final support is in. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. We are back here for day two of trailer fab operations. Here at Wrench and Rip Fabrication. <laughs> So today, really, um, this section of the video is going to be real short. Basically, boring stuff. I'm just going to kind of clean this stuff up um, and, and paint. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll give you an update once I finish kind of prepping everything for paint. And then I'll show you uh, the final product once it's all painted up. And you'll probably never even be able to tell that it was modified. Well, that's my goal at least, so. Let's get to prepping this, and then we'll start painting. All right, all cleaned up. Good enough. The paint will cover up any uh, any imperfections from there on. <laughs> Look at that weld. Dang. Oh, except for the little end, but it's a pretty good weld. If I do say so myself, I'm gonna be using this Rust-Oleum enamel paint. This stuff is pretty good, actually. It's cheap and. Uh, I've used it before, way back when. Uh, I painted the whole interior floor of my Jeep with this stuff. And uh, it actually held up pretty good. So I'm gonna paint pretty much this whole front section. 
I'm going to touch up some little rusty areas on here too because I'll be putting a deck on this in uh, a day or two. So let's get to making this thing pretty. What do you say? Well guys, it's painted up, looking pretty. It almost looks like nothing even happened. I'm pretty happy with this result. It's just what I needed. Should be the extra little amount. I guess we'll see when we uh, when we actually put this thing on it, but um, it came out really good. I'm really happy, and uh, I'm honestly just glad that that whole process is over with. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on the ride with me on this thing. It was a learning experience for me, and if nothing else, I hope it helps someone to take on a project that they don't think they can do. I had only welded three welds in my whole life before this, um, and I took it on and it turned out good. So you can do it too. Uh, if I can do it, you can do it. So remember guys uh, to like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you like videos like this or if you like my other videos on my channel. And until uh, next time guys, keep wrenching and keep ripping. We'll see you guys next time.